The ability to factor an algebraic expression is a skill that is called upon over and over again throughout high school mathematics courses. But what is factoring really and why is it so important? In this video we'll take a quick look at what it means to factor an expression as well as some reasons why we would ever want to do so. In the following videos we'll get into the nuts and bolts of how to factor particular types of algebraic expressions. So what is factoring? Well, by definition, to factor an expression means to write it as a product of several factors. We can think of factoring as breaking up an expression into a multiplication of simpler expressions. This idea is easily shown using whole numbers. For example, we can factor the number 6 by writing it as 2 times 3. Here we say that 2 and 3 are both factors of 6. As an interesting side note, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic tells us that every whole number greater than 1 can be factored into prime numbers in only one way. For example, the only prime factorization of 420 consists of a pair of 2s, a 3, a 5, and a 7. And there's no other way to do it. When we hear the term factoring in high school math courses though, we're probably not talking about factoring whole numbers we're usually referring to the factorization of algebraic expressions. What does it mean to factor an algebraic expression though? The same thing as it means to factor a number, but instead of writing it as the product of only numbers, we're writing it as a product of simpler algebraic expressions. For example, as we'll see later, we can factor the expression x squared plus 7x plus 12 by writing it as x plus 3 times x plus 4. And therefore, x plus 3 and x plus 4 are factors of x squared plus 7x plus 12. Now, perhaps you're thinking, why would we ever want to factor an algebraic expression? What's the point? As you'll see, its role in simplifying expressions and solving equations make factoring a powerful tool for tackling a wide variety of problems. In high school math, the most common reason for factoring an expression is that it makes it really easy to see what values make the expression work out to zero. And important things usually happen when an algebraic expression works out to zero. It's where the company breaks even. It's when the ball hits the ground. And it's when the diver hits the water. Let's take a peek at how factoring can help us find what values make an expression work out to zero. Say I told you that something times something equals zero. Let's say a times b equals zero. What can you tell me about a and b? Well, at least one of them has to be zero. It could be A, it could be B, or it could be both, but at least one of them must be zero. This idea is called the zero product property, and it's a property that only zero possesses. Now, let's say we wanted to know what values of X make the quadratic expression X squared plus 4X minus 21 work out to zero. Of course, we could try substituting different values of X until we find all those that give a result of zero, but we can solve the problem much more efficiently by first factoring the expression. As we'll soon learn, x squared plus 4x minus 21 can be rewritten in factored form as x minus 3 times x plus 7. Notice that here we have something times something equal to 0, and as we know, one of the somethings must therefore itself be 0. That is, either x minus 3 is 0 or x plus 7 is 0. Having x minus 3 equal to 0 would imply that the value of x is 3, since 3 minus 3 is 0. Similarly, for x plus 7 to work out to 0, x would have to be negative 7, since negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Therefore, either an x value of 3 or an x value of negative 7 would make the entire factored expression, and thus the original expression, work out to 0. Notice how using the factored version of the expression makes it much easier to solve the problem. Now that we've touched upon what factoring means and had a taste of how it can be useful, we're ready to look at how to factor algebraic expressions, specifically quadratic expressions. Check out the following videos for some strategies on factoring various types of quadratic expressions, as well as links to corresponding interactive practice problems. In no time, you'll be a factor master.